we're cutting starters here today for the Highland Slate. And uh, CertainTeed says that you can either use the shingles themselves for starters or you can buy their high performance starter uh, that's already pre-cut. For this being the first application, I thought I'd try this. And in my head I've been running the figures and I would highly recommend buying the pre-cut starter for this your pre-cuts are actually less expensive you get like hundred and six feet per bundle there's 50 shingles per square with this shingle and they're three foot long so you're only getting hundred and fifty feet per square in order to cut a starter out of the shingle from the front side you could use a hook blade or from the back side you could use a straight blade and all you do is cut the tab off and then set these pieces here aside because you can use them later on. We save the top tabs and if you're just a little short at the top of the roof, you can nail those tabs on. If you only need a three or four inches at the top, it saves you time and shingles to finish off the roof. You want to cut them off right at the top of the tab so that you got a straight bottom edge. The high performance starter also has a double layer yes. of starter strip down here. It is important to get the seal strip at the bottom of the roof. That's correct. But either cutting this shingle or using the, the high performance starter would give you that dual starter right. strip. You don't want to flip this shingle over and use it as a starter because with the 8 inch exposure on these shingles, you're going to lose the bottom row of shingles every time with these. Uh, you have to have the sealant strip down at the bottom. A way to reference where you nail the shingle is you have tab marks here at the top and in between each set of marks you can put a nail. If you don't offset the four and a half inches which is required for laying the shingle, you can see there you'll have an open seam every three foot. But by doing your four and a half inch soft set and using your rack lines, you hide that seam which guarantees there's going to be no leakage. Five nails per shingle above the drain line in between the tar strips.